Hi everybody and welcome to Atlas Rift. Let's learn a little something today about CERN. Check my graphics. Sound. Okay. Let's let's see. There we go. Here we go. Rift on. Go and talk to Ooh. Hello. No, who's this? Oh. You're not Professor Brian Cox, are you? Hello. What you doing? What you reading for? <clears throat> okay, so here it is. I think this runs on uh, Windows 10. This is the world's most expensive, largest, world record setting experiment. Basically, to see where mass comes from, or see how mass is made. So they break everything down, smash it apart in this hydron collider, as it's known. So we have a little menu. Let's have a little look. We've got events to tackle. Oh, my head. Oh, oh. Slow down. We've got the tour. We'll take that in a little tick. Tech tour. I don't think these are working yet, but you get the idea with the muons, electrons, and the peons. Quarks, quantum theory, etc., etc. Oh, I'm getting higher. Let's see if we can't get down a wee bit. Just to have a little better look. Wow. And we also have the tour, so let's have a little look. 100 meters underground, in a 27 kilometer circular tunnel across the Franco Swiss border, lies the world's most powerful accelerator CERN's Large Hadron Collider, or the LHC. Inside the tunnel, protons are accelerated to extremely high energies and made to collide in the heart of the LHC's four major experiments. The collisions create conditions similar to those that occurred shortly after the birth of the universe. We examine the debris from these collisions to learn about the composition of matter and the fundamental forces of nature. Of the four major detectors, Atlas and CMS are the largest and most complex. We are now standing 80 meters directly above the Atlas detector. This is the shaft through which parts of the detector were lowered during the construction phase, which is still used during upgrade and maintenance periods. The Atlas detector itself took around 18 years to build. Its components were constructed at universities and laboratories around the world and brought to CERN, assembled, tested, and lowered into the cavern one by one. The Atlas Collaboration comprises 3,000 scientists from around 180 institutions around the world, representing 38 countries from all the world's populated continents. It is one of the largest collaborative efforts ever attempted in science. Almost 1,200 doctoral students are involved in detector development, data collection, and analysis. Atlas measures 46 meters long and 25 meters in diameter, and is the largest volume detector ever constructed for a particle collider. It is a many-layered instrument designed to detect some of the tiniest, yet most energetic particles ever created on Earth. It consists of several different detecting subsystems wrapped concentrically in layers around the collision point to record the trajectory, momentum, and energy of particles, allowing them to be individually identified and measured. A huge magnet system bends the paths of the charged particles so that their momenta can be measured as precisely as possible. Beams of particles traveling at energies up to 7 trillion electron volts from the LHC collide at the center of the Atlas detector, producing collision debris in the form of new particles, which fly out from the collision point in all directions. When the LHC is running, there are up to a oh. billion particle collisions taking place in the Atlas detector every second. Mm -hmm. A data rate equivalent to 20 simultaneous telephone conversations 
held by every person on Earth. Only a few hundred of the billion collisions that occur each second are flagged as potentially interesting and recorded for further study. The detector tracks and identifies particles to investigate a wide range of physics, from the study of the Higgs boson and top quark to the search for extra dimensions and particles that could make up dark matter. ATLAS uses precision measurement to push the frontiers of knowledge by seeking answers to fundamental questions, such as what are the basic building blocks of matter? What are the forces of nature? Could there be a greater underlying symmetry to our universe? Atlas physicists test the predictions of the standard model, which encapsulates our current understanding of what the building blocks of matter are and how they interact. These studies can lead to groundbreaking discoveries, such as that of the Higgs boson, physics beyond the standard model, and the development of new theories to better describe our universe. The years ahead will be exciting as Atlas takes experimental physics into unexplored territory, perhaps with new processes and particles that could change our understanding of nature. The end. Thank you. Fant. Oh, we glitched through a few walls there, didn't we? But that was beautiful. I do hope that you, you got a little bit... A little bit out of this. Let's go. Speed it up. Oh. Huh? That's where are we? A muon? Fantastically done. Once this is optimized and, and ready to rock and roll, this would be a, a lovely little demo to show folks. So you can uh, look at all the different, um, maybe not in here is not a good idea. This could ruin the experiment. Couldn't it? <laughs> Let's see, where are we? Where are we? So there you go. That is starting. I hope you enjoyed that. I did. It's very, very good. And uh, here's all the different little bits of it. As I was showing the muon barrel, the end gap, shield, supports. And there's so many uh, conspiracies about CERN. There's lots of uh, interesting, uh, like Freeman Fly and BP Earth Watch. And uh, of course, Professor Brian Cox. If you want to know more, go to the website. Thank you very much for watching. Let's go. How quick can we go? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>